Now we're told then that this curve, y equals e to the 2x sec 3x, has a minimum turning point for x somewhere between minus pi upon 6 to x being less than pi upon 6. And we've got to find out the coordinates of that particular point. Now in the previous part we showed that dy dx was equal to this equation here. And at turning points, remember at a minimum turning point, if you've got a graph, okay, essentially you're expecting at a minimum turning point the gradient at the bottom here, this is a minimum, the gradient would be zero. And the gradient is given by dy by dx. So we know essentially that at the minimum dy by dx equals zero. So let's just say when dy dx equals zero. When it equals zero, we've got this factorized um, expression here is going to equal the zero. So we can create the equation e to the 2x times sec 3x times the 3 tan 3x plus 2 has got to equal zero. Now we've got three factors here multiplying together equaling zero. So generally it would mean either this factor could equal zero or sec 3x could equal zero or this factor 3 tan 3x plus 2 would equal zero. Well if you know the graph of e to the 2x, e to the 2x, let's just draw a quick sketch for you down here, okay? Whoops, let's just take that part out. If we have our axes x and y. The graph of e to the 2x is going to look something like this. Comes up like so. Crossing at 1 here. It's an exponential graph, e to the 2x. It can never actually equal 0. So e to the 2x can't be 0. Now what about sec 3x? Well, The graph of sec 3x okay, is going to look something like this. It's going to go through 1 and it's going to be a kind of U-shape like this. So you can see that this never equals 0. So e to the 2x can't equal 0, sec 3x can't equal 0. Well something's got to equal 0 for this to come to 0. So it's got to be this factor here. Okay, so what we do is we say that therefore it is the 3 tan 3x plus 2 which must equal 0. So what we've got is a simple trig equation to solve. So if we rearrange this and make tan 3x the subject by subtracting 2 from both sides and then dividing by 3 you end up with tan 3x equals minus 2 thirds. Now all you've got to do is inverse tan both sides and you get 3x equals the inverse tan of minus 2 thirds. Now you're working in radians now so we know we're working radians because x is between minus pi upon 6 and pi upon 6 so there's no mention here of degrees so it's understood to be in radians. Now if you get on your calculator in radians mode and do the inverse tan of minus 2 thirds what you get is that 3x equals minus 0 0.5880 and so on. So what we need to do is divide this by 3 and if you divide this by 3 you end up with x equaling minus 0 0.1960 and so on. Okay, so if you just check this out, okay, you'll find that this value is a value between minus pi upon 6 and pi upon 6 because if you do pi divided by 6 you'll find you get 0 0.5235 so you've got to be between minus 0 0.5235 and 0 0.5235 and this is a value between that interval so we take it that this is the minimum point that they wanted us to find 
OK, well, this is the A part of the coordinate. We need to find the B part, the Y value. So what we need to do is just say, and I'll just come down here now, OK? We just need to say when X equals the minus 0 0.1960 and so on, all we need to do is substitute this into our equation up here to get what Y is. So therefore, Y would equal E times two lots of minus 0 0.1960 and so on multiplied by sec of three times this value. Now you're not going to have sec on your calculator but you'll have cosine so knowing that this is 1 over cosine 3x all you've got to do is divide this then by the cosine of 3 times this value. OK, so 3 times minus 0 0.1960 and so on. And if you do that on your calculator, what you should find is that you get that this equals 0 0.8120, OK, and so on. So you have your coordinates. You have your A value, which is going to be minus 0 0.1960 and your B value, which is going to be 0 0.8120. Okay?